Hey guys, Jason, CV Customs. So it's time to get our brakes right. Our master cylinder came in, so we're gonna get that off. We're gonna take both wheels off, get the wheel cylinder out. <clears throat> I, I actually already started. So we've got the wheel cylinder out. These brakes are a little different from the traditional brakes. Uh, the, the way they adjust is a bolt on the backside and this cam pushes it out further as you adjust it. So I only had to take one shoe off to get the wheel cylinder out, but what we're running into now, well, here's our rebuild kit for our wheel cylinders because these were hard to find. Here's our wheel cylinder. Took the boots off and the pistons are stuck in there. So we're gonna have to soak it and see if we can't get them out. If we can't get them out, I did find out that a 1940 Ford wheel cylinder will bolt right in. The difference on the Ford is on the International, the port comes straight out. On the Ford, it comes out at an angle. So we'll have to get our brake hoses accordingly if we have to use those other wheel cylinders. But we're going to replace the hoses anyway, so we just won't have the hoses made until we know if we're going to be able to rebuild these or not. So I'll see if I can get them apart and we'll go from there. Okay, we're going to try something here. I couldn't find my blower that normally has a little rubber tip so I can get a little better pressure. A little bit of a frustrating issue for me. I <laughs> can't find a tool. Um, so I put the wheel cylinder in the vise because when the pistons pop out, I don't want them to go anywhere. I just want them to break loose. So what we're going to try to do is shoot air in here, see if it moves. Crush your fingers. I don't think it's moving. Yeah, those dudes are in there. Okay, so the next step is we'll try and tap it down and back and forth and see if we can get it broke loose. So, let me go get a hammer. Okay, got a hammer, brass or bronze punch because I don't really want to hurt my pistons here. See what happens. It moved. That's nice. That one moved too. So now that's flush, so we know they're moving, and the smaller diameter piston is going to be able to go through, apparently. Let's see if we can get it all the way out here. Cool. There we go. So what you saw come out was the spring that goes in between the two piston cups. These are the piston cups. Our kit has them, so we're going to replace them. Just a little metal retainer, the spring, and then the other piston. All right. Now we can get a cylinder hone and Try and clean these dudes up and see if it's going to work. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is clean this dude up. It's pretty gross, but it also, because it's all just old brake fluid, it's actually really not rusted. I think this is actually going to clean up pretty good. An interesting thing about these old 40s model wheel cylinders is you have two different barrel sizes so your piston cups have two different sizes it's kind of a goofy thing it looks like we got a one inch and an inch and a quarter if you guys can read that so that's uh oh man let's get some focus here there we go so inch and a quarter 
and then one inch and that's actually what our piston cups say in the new kit so looks like we got the right kit so we'll clean it up with brake parts cleaner and then we'll get the cylinder honed we'll hone it out and we'll put our new springs in should be good now also when we're using the uh, cylinder hone we're going to keep it wet with like a, a WD-40 or a PB blaster so I'll get it cleaned up and get ready to hone okay so she's clean ready to hone something else you want to look at though is inside this port I don't know if you guys can see it the lighting is going to be kind of difficult but there's a little bit of corrosion in there so I'm gonna get a pick and get that as clean as I can you can see that the the orifice is clear but we don't want any debris getting in there later on so we're gonna get a pick and clean that out before we even start because we don't we don't want any debris while we're going to hone because it can scratch the cylinder wall and just make it useless so we want it as clean as we can get it okay so we got uh, the wheel cylinder in the vise we did get this cleaned up you notice it's a little loose you don't want to really clamp this thing too tight because we don't want to hurt the barrel. We just want it to hold it so it's not going to move. Now I'm using PB Blaster. You can use WD-40. You just want it to stay wet. You don't want any uh, dry scratching. This cylinder honed, you can get at any O'Reilly's, AutoZone. They're really not even that expensive. So what we're going to do is just move back and forth and, and rotate it. Just keep it moving, don't, don't stay in one spot. There go. Now I'll show you guys what it looks like done and then I'll get the other one done so we can put this thing back together. So that's the honed side. Look at the side we haven't touched yet. You can still see all the corrosion and stuff in here. That's what we're trying to get out. So we'll just double check everything. If it needs a little more hone, we'll go. I haven't exactly looked at it yet. I'm just seeing through the camera, but it actually does look pretty good. And that's what you're after. It's just like getting a, an engine cylinder ready. So looks good. So I'll get the other side done and I'll show you guys how to put it back together. Okay, so we're all cleaned up. One thing I didn't mention is you wanna pull your bleeder and make sure that's clear. Now, if you guys are rebuilding a newer model car or something, just because your wheel cylinder is leaking, you're not gonna to have to go through all these steps to get it clean. But on something like this, on the 46, you wanna make sure everything's clear. So you pull your bleeder, you wanna make sure that port goes into the cylinder as well. No big deal. This is the bleeder. The bleeder has a hole. You just want to make sure it's clear. So you take your brake parts cleaner, just blow it through, make sure it's clear. If it's not, clean it out. This one actually has a hole on both sides. So when you have a hole on both sides, just clean both sides. No big deal. So we've got our wheel cylinder, our bleeder, our pistons. These are our new piston cups right here. And if you look inside the, the piston cups, that one says inch and a quarter. That one says one inch, which is exactly what the other ones were, so that's great. And it also comes with the new boots. Basically, uh, dust shields. We are going to have to reuse the uh, metal caps. They set right inside the cup. It's not a big deal. This is just where the spring pushes, so we're fine with that. Our old spring does go away, and the kit did have... A new spring, so we'll be putting our new spring inside. So that's the trash. This is what we're going to use. Um, everything's ready now, with the exception of cleaning the pistons. So I'm sure you can figure out how to clean pistons. I take a little emery cloth and just get it off. And it looks like there's some real big buildup on this one. So I'll get these cleaned up and I'll show you how to put it together. Okay, so just used a little ember cloth, got them clean, ready to go back in. It's really not all that complicated. I know some people have uh, used a little bit of grease to keep it wet. I'm going to use the PB Blaster again, just because it's oil-based. 
and it's not gonna hurt with the, the brake fluid. So, first things first, you wanna make sure the lip is where the oil is because that's the way the piston cup works. So you wanna make sure that the inside edge like that is facing the other inside edge of, of the other seal. So we'll get this guy in there. There we go. Set the piston in there. And then we wanna get our retainer for that size piston down there make sure that sits in there real nice okay next our spring we can set it flat so that it doesn't come out now on this one we're going to want to put the retainer on and then get the piston inside There we go. Put the piston in. Cool. Now for our boots. Good to go. See the boot fits real nice. The other pistons in. Don't worry about them staying down. As soon as you put fluid in, they'll move around. That's it. Now we'll throw our bleeder back in and we can go reinstall. Bleeder's in. Let's go put it back in a truck. Okay guys, we got it back in. You can see with the brand new boots, Looks like a brand new wheel cylinder. This boot kit was only about seven bucks. The wheel cylinder was about $25 a piece if we went with the, uh, the Ford model that we found out we could get. This was definitely a lot cheaper. It didn't take much, much more time. Would have had to gone through all the other steps to do it, except for the cleaning and honing. <laughs> Still worth it when you're doing all four cylinders. So I'm gonna get the, uh, the hub back on, then we'll get our other side done so that our front axle's ready to go. Make sure our brakes are right.